Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to discuss probability. Now before doing this, you must make sure that you are comfortable and you are aware of all the work that you had done in grade 10 and 11. Okay, now the first thing we're going to learn is the rule that states if one operation, so if one option can happen in n amount of ways and a second option in m amount of ways then the total options that you have is m times n now what does that mean let's say you go to a cafeteria and at the cafeteria you have choice one under choice one they've got let's say the cold drinks so they have water and they have juice and they have cold drink then the second choice you have is the the meal and now what do you have for the meal maybe you have veggies they have rice they have chicken and maybe they just have a sandwich Now, how many choices do you have all together? You have, you could choose water with veg, water with rice, water with chicken, water with a sandwich. Or you could choose juice with veg, juice with rice, juice with chicken, juice with a sandwich. Can you see? Or you could choose a cold drink with the veg, cold drink with the rice, cold drink with the chicken, cold drink with the sandwich. So what did we do? We had four choices with the water, four choices with the juice, four choices with the cold drink and all in all we ended up with 12 choices. But what if you simply said choice one there were three options, choice two there were four options. So if I said three times four, look you come to the exact same answer. Now why would this formula be so handy why would we need this formula let's take another example let's say you go and you won a competition now the competition says that you won number one you won a video but you must choose from five types of videos there's maybe five different videos number two you want a CD but again you got four choices so there's four different types of series. Also, number three, you win a cap. Now the cap, they give you 10 choices. And last, you're going to win a fancy cup. And from the cup, there are three choices. Now how do you go and you say, okay, this one times, this one times, this one. You can't do it as you did with the first one. You can't go and say, okay, water times all four juice times all four because once you do that how do you go to the next level and the next level so the perfect way to do is to say four times five times ten times three so what am I doing is I'm taking each one so each choice and I'm multiplying them by the next so I'm saying five times four which is 20 20 times 10 which is 200 200 times 3 which is 600 so you have 600 choices. Okay, let's look further. Let's look into your wardrobe. In your wardrobe, you have three tops. You have four trousers. You have two pairs of shoes. Now, how many options do you have? Your first choice was 3, your second choice was 4, and your last choice was 2. So the total we have is 24. There's 24 different ways that you can change and you can dress. Thank you for watching. 